Hello everyone, and welcome back to RuneScape. Now, before we start the quest, if you missed it, I uploaded a quick episode uh, a couple days ago. I got an HSR. Uh, yeah, big deal. Oh, it's amazing. But uh, I don't want to waste too much time talking about that. But yes, do not be shocked if you see that in future videos. I have it now. It was from the uh, birthday bonanza thing that gave you random items. I don't remember what it's called. But anyway, we're doing Elemental Workshop 3 today. It's uh, it's quite a quest, that's for sure. All right, so we search this bookcase. We accept the quest. Now, luckily, I took the time to set up the bars beforehand so we don't have to do that monotonous thing. Seriously, I would like Elemental Workshop a lot more if you could use invention and construction to automate the primed bar process. That is the worst. Just the worst, having to make those again and again. But anyway, we got a uh, ragged book. We can hop through here. Basically, the idea is the assistant is uh, got his consciousness stored in a primed metal bar, and he's trying to return it to the body, and he can't get it to work. Yeah, that's basically the story there. Kind of a dark situation, I suppose. So let's go ahead and get on down here. It's been quite a while since I've done this quest. I don't really remember it. We're definitely going full guide on this thing. We're not going to struggle through however long it would take me to beat this myself, especially while trying to talk. Now, where do we go? Is there just a door over here? Body door. That would be it. Door is locked. Is there a key in this one too? No? Okay, how do we get through then? I'm already stuck. Alright, uh, let's see. What do we do? What do we... Oh, right! We have to use soft clay on the book because it has the key on there. Alright, and then do we need to go to a furnace for this? Okay, yeah, so we go to the furnace real quick. I got ahead myself heading down here. It's fine. It's not exactly a long walk to get back to the furnace. Uh, furnace. There it is. All right, elemental bar. You get in here. All right, there we go. Let's get back down here. It's just too bad that they never finished the series to make like soul armor or something that would actually be useful. Maybe someday they will. It's just not the most popular series. And it makes sense. It's a lot of work to do the puzzles if you don't use a guide, and if you use the guide, it's not the most exciting. I've never actually done the puzzles without a guide. Maybe I should someday. All right, well, here we are. We're at a machine. Uh, what do I do with the machine? All right got this so this charges the body room all right I don't really know do we go in here oh, the door is stuck of course was there anything else I could click on no all right so okay so we need to proceed down the steps well, stairs whatever you want to call them all right, so we got this interface, this nonsense. All right, so. Oh no. Oh, it's quite a thing, all right. I have to follow all of these instructions very, very precisely. All right, so this, I think we do this. Do I just click that? Or do I click it here? Oh, what is that? That's not what I was supposed to do. <laughs> Already messing up. All right. I think I understand. I think I understand. So we do C, which is this one. Like that. All right. And then we do 2, which is this one. And we do F, which is this one. And then we do 6, which is one from the end. All right. That's the first set of moves. Then we do another C another two, an 
F, which is the bottom one, and then another six. We're basically just putting a machine together here. But luckily, somebody has figured out all the best moves so that I don't have to. I think I could figure this out on my own. It's just the idea of doing it in a video uh, is horrendous to me, so I would never try. I would want to do this on my own time. All right, B, finally something else. All right, B, three, F, two. I'm doing this all kind of by memory as well, so there's the potential I will make a mistake, in which case I will be very, very sad. E and then four. I kind of wish they would actually mark these instead of making us just memorize what they are. All right, so oh, we got a thing. All right, I guess we did it correct. All right, now what? Um, reset the puzzle using the lever above the puzzle matrix. What do they mean by that? Do they mean this lever? How is this above the puzzle matrix? It's to the west of it. Or do they mean what's up here? I hate when guides aren't specific. We can't surge here either. We can try to open this door and see if it works. If not, I guess it's probably the reset lever. No, yeah, I guess so. I don't know what it means by above the puzzle matrix, though. Oh, hey, we got this thing again. Oh, there. It's because it took me out of that view. Now it's above. That's interesting. Anyway. Reset. There I go. I guess that is what we want. All right, but that stays lowered. OK, so how do I get back in that view then? Um, probably says somewhere. Oh, there's a magnifying glass. Oh, this. Ah, we got it. All right. All right. All right. There's an optional part of the puzzle, but I don't think we need to do it, considering we're using a guide, so we shouldn't make any mistakes. It basically gives you the chance to make more mistakes. All right, so we'll just skip that because it's just going to take a lot of time. And we'll just hope we don't make mistakes. Uh, that seems like the way to go, right? All right. Oh, I don't have my guide anymore. Uh oh. <laughs> um, I need to, like, open up that picture in a different window real quick. Let's see, open image in new tab. You guys can't see it, but I'm doing important work here. Getting my guide to the letters. All right, all right. Now I can do it and make sure I don't make any dumb mistakes. Hopefully. We start off with two, and then B, and then six, which is one from the end. And then A, which is this one. And then five. And B, six, C. All right. And then we do five again. Five, B, two, C. All right, and then we do five again. All right, yes, five, B. There's a lot of fives, and they're kind of blurring together in my mind. Three, and then E. All right, six, F, five, and B. Then we do three, 
C six F All right and then two C six and E and then three B five and E and then we do six. Every once in a while I gotta check and make sure that I'm not getting the letters and numbers mixed up. Six F four E and then we do it again. Six F four I will say at least this interface seems responsive. Like there's no like dead clicks that I'm getting. Um, and then we do five. All right, there we go. Very good stuff. It just could be a little bit faster. All right, so now we need to reset the lever again. That gives us all our moves back. But now we have the extra bit. All right, the next thing is called infinite moves. So whatever, I guess we just get an infinite anyway. I don't know, so we start off with two, C, three, B. You can see why I've been putting off this episode. It's just a lot of clicking, not much else. Like the rewards from this quest are really that hype. All right, two, B, B, F, two, C, three, F, and then two again. C, five, F, and then two, and E. All right, the counter gets stuck at 62 moves. Very nice, we broke it. All right. Infinite turns gained, and then we apparently reset again. Very nice, all right. So we have 65 moves apparently, even though it says 62. All right, so now we have to lower the tower. It's quite a few more moves, guys. Hope you're prepared for the excitement. In fact, let me make sure that this thing's recording properly. Yes, it is. Last thing I want is to realize that I'm not recording this quest. All right. So we start off with B, two, A, three, and then B, two, F, six, and then B, two, that was backwards. That was backwards. Oh great, I have messed this up. Oh well, we'll just reset it. It's faster that way than trying to figure out what I did. All right, all right, all right. Let's do this correctly this time. No getting B and two mixed up. B, two, A, three, B, two, F, six. Thought I had unlimited moves, and yet it's still counting down moves. Very misleading. B, two, B, three, and then F, <clears throat> six, C, five, D, six, F, five, 
C six F two and then E guess changing it up with E <clears throat> E five F two I'm gonna lose my voice saying all these letters E five D six F four E six. All right, there we go. That lowered that little tower. Okay, then we reset the lever again. I think this is the last big one now. Yes, this is the last big set of moves. But it is quite a set of moves. I do not want to mess it up. Can we get back into the thing? Thank you. All right. <clears throat> Clear my throat. Got to be ready for this. All right. Four. E. Six. F. Four. E. Six. E. Then five. B six E five A six F then five B two A then three B Four C two B six E five C two D I gotta say D and four seem like the ones that are used the least. Anyway, three E five C three F six. I made a mistake somewhere. Huh. Well, that's unfortunate. I must have made a really big mistake. Hmm. Does it show what it's supposed to look like? I guess. I don't know what I did. Huh. Well, I said all the things. I must have skipped one of them. I wonder which one I skipped. I mean, I could, could listen back and figure it out, but whatever. I'm just going to do it. You guys don't have to watch. All right, we're almost at the end now. I just have three moves left if I've done it correctly. That would be three F. It definitely looks different. I don't know what I did last time, but it was terrible, apparently. Look at that. That's what you're supposed to do. All right, so now that we have done that, we do not reset it. Okay. So we have to make sure that it looks exactly like this, okay? Then we have to do, very specifically... Yes, okay. B... Or... C three. All right. All right, so now we go upstairs. How do I get out of this thing? Get me out of there. Okay, so. So 
Now we go up here. For some reason, I'm on my prayers. So we got to insert this into a slot. Ah, that slot. All right. Oh, okay. I didn't expect that. So now that we've done that, we close the door and we push the big red button and it does the thing. It drained my defenses. Oh no. All right. Oh, right. We gotta do this. Take that. And please tell me that you don't have to do anything else that you can just do it again. Oh no, it doesn't work. So what do you have to do again? Dang it. Okay, so what we have to do is two. Four. Right, that is correct, yes. All right, two. Four. E. And then C. And three. All right. So that's resetted, apparently. Wait, can we get out of there? There we go. Let me up these stairs, please. So I think we just recharged it. Reset the big red button. All right, there we go. Let me out of this door, jeez. All right, so now we have two primed bars. So now we need to go up here and make a body body. Which obviously that's what they are going to do for the body rune one. It just makes sense. All right, we need to go upstairs again. All right, so now use on workbench and body body. And there we go, quest complete. Now we can make body, um, what is it? A body shield, a body helmet, and the body body. I believe that's all we can make. Very good stuff, we get a little bit of XP's. Give me some smithing XP. I think you can get all of them. I don't think it's like, oh, you can only get one or the other. Yes. And there we go. And the book is gone. All right, so that is a quest complete. Oh, and it for some reason it told me about that. But yeah, so that's the body body. It gives this cool effect when you turn it on, or put it on. But yeah, ultimately, not a very useful item, unfortunately. It'd be nice if it had a use. Like, imagine if wearing the full body set gave you unlimited body roots or something like that. Something cool. Maybe someday. But yeah, I'm happy to have that quest complete. I know it's not the most exciting content, but we had to do it someday. And I figured, why not get it out of the way right now? And then we can move on to bigger and better things like Elemental Workshop 4. Yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye.